in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 weather with meteorologist Sabian Colon. Good evening, everybody, and happy Thursday. We had a partly cloudy to mostly cloudy day with rain spread out throughout the area. But right now, we're looking at our Syntex Roof System Sky Tracker. Out here in Woodway, we can see the rain has subsided, and we really have more of the mostly cloudy to partly cloudy conditions, keeping our temperatures between the mid-50s. But right now, we're sitting at 53 degrees with a north wind at 11 miles per hour, making the dew point of 52 degrees and the humidity 96%. So it's pretty sticky outside. Going to our other temperatures right now we can see 55 in Temple and 54 in Colleen. If you're headed down south to the Brazos Valley, 64 in College Station and 63 in Brenham. Going to our exclusive operator, we're going to see where the rain is moving. It's uh, moved over to the east and kind of tracking out of our area and zooming down into Waco. We can see nothing really going on precipitation wise. It's kind of all moved over to the east. And if we go up north and a little bit to the east by the Corksicana area, we can see we have a little bit of rain developing down in the Richland, but besides that, most of our region is clear of the rain. If you're going out, we can see the big picture of the rain. It's kind of taken its toll and moved over to the east, not really affecting our central Texas area and going to our saddle and radar. We can see this front of here. This is very significant because it is taking all those showers and pulling them across the central Texas area and taking those showers and clouds away out of our area, but past it, it's looking like pretty sunny skies for the next couple of days and a great weekend coming up ahead. So going to our future cast, we're starting here at Friday at 7 p.m. We can see the showers behind me putting this in motion, kind of just move out to the east and be done with our central Texas region. We do have still some cloud cover down in the Brazos Valley. Temperatures are in the mid 40s. As we go to that Saturday morning, pretty clear skies as you wake up on Saturday. Temperatures are in the low to mid 40s, so a little bit chilly as you wake up that Saturday morning. As the day progresses, we get to the afternoon. We warm up a little bit to the mid 50s. And then as we go to Saturday evening, we get a little bit warmer. We're not really cracking that high of that mid 60s. We're probably staying around the mid 50s throughout the day of Saturday. As Saturday becomes Saturday night and into that Sunday morning, we can see temperatures for that Saturday night are probably in the, or sorry, most likely in the 40 degree area for Saturday night. And then Sunday morning, we get a little bit cooler. We're starting off in the mid 50s and lower 40s for that Sunday morning. Mostly clear conditions. As we go throughout the afternoon into the evening of Sunday, we get a little bit warmer around the mid 60s, not really getting much higher out of that. As we get to that 5 p.m. hour, the evening hours of Sunday, we can see temperatures are in the low to mid 50s, or sorry, 40s. And then for tonight, we're going 42 degrees with a slight chance of shower. Let me say small, about 20% chance with a north wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And for tomorrow, we're going to be 61 degrees, mostly sunny with a north northwesterly wind at 10 to 15 miles per hour. So a little bit more breezy for tomorrow. And here's your long range 10 day forecast brought to you by Alliance Electrical Group. We can see for Sunday, we warm up a little bit to the upper 60s. And then as that work week starts again, we get back to our seasonal average average of around the low 60s throughout the area. And then as that middle of the week comebacks around, we get a little bit more wet with those rain chances on that Friday, 60% sun thunderstorms possibly having temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. And then as you get to that weekend and then to Christmas, we do have 57 degrees on Christmas. It is the lowest temperature, but it is not going to be really snowing that much. Overnight lows are in the mid to upper 40s. And if you're headed down south to the Bryan and College Station, a similar trend here, but less rain on that Friday. We do have temperatures are sitting between the low and mid 60s for that first half of the week. Then the end of the week, we get a little warmer to the upper 60s and lower 70s. Christmas is looking like 61 degrees with some rain on that day. Temperatures, the overnight lows are in between the upper 40s and mid 50s.